What's up guys, Joel here and today and I bring a brand new video talking about whether the Battlefront game coming out in November will fail like Battlefront Hardline because of the lack of content. So this sparked my interest when I was on the beta just because it showed us that a lot of the um, game modes that we weren't allowed to play on the beta they looked good but maybe they won't be played as much as let's say War Crystal or Drop Zone. So I'm using Battlefront 4 as a prime example here just because it has a lot of game modes and only three or four of them have really like reached the top of the table if you like but just because some of the other game modes are like recycled versions of other game modes that just aren't as fun I mean I understand that DICE um, tries to include more game modes more different game modes that have never been released before on um, Star Wars Battlefront but then again they did that with Battlefield 4 and it really didn't turn out too well I mean like no one really plays air superiority like over conquest or rush, so I don't think it was a too good of like an idea. However, you never know like the risk may pay off. However, on the other hand, or, like the positive side, this is my personal opinion now. I actually do think that um, the Battlefront game will be a massive success, just because of like a few small points. But firstly, it's because of the preparation of the game. They have spent so long making this game. So as we know the graphics are like amazing, the gameplay I think is really nice and other small aspects of the game really make it a lot more fun than COD or Battlefield 4. Also one of the reasons why I actually pre-ordered the game was because they gave you like an early access to the DLC that's already been made so maybe they've already got other things like sort of set out in the future like a new DLC or new weapon customizations or anything like that. You know it just shows us that they are planning ahead like right now. Okay, so my third and final point is, is that people have been waiting for this game for so long, especially like the old Battlefront 2 players, which that game is coming up to its 10th anniversary on October 31st, I think, and that has been such a long time since the last game. I mean, like, in the beta there's over 9 million players, and that is exceptional for beta. Like, I don't think, like, many COD betas even get to that standard, and it just shows us that the crowd and, like, all the audience just wants to get loads and loads of this content, and if... They're, they're giving the money to the company of course they're just going to supply more content which is the way I think this is going to go and linking back to Battlefield Hardline that Battlefield game was one year after Battlefield 4 but Battlefield 4 still had a lot of content to keep on producing and Battlefield Hardline wasn't that fun so maybe it was Battlefield Hardline failed because it was like poor timing and poor content unlike Battlefront will be and also not to mention the new players like me because I never played um, Battlefront 2 in my life I've never even played like Battlefield 3 properly so the new players who are like really want to get into the first person shooters maybe there's like smaller youtubers like myself all like these different audiences will like really want this game just for more content for their own like personal use so I think it's really gonna like sort of start to kick off and then hopefully it will last until the next Battlefield game which I think it will so that's it for this video guys hope you enjoyed remember to leave a like comment and subscribe and take it easy until I see you next one. Peace.